All right. So Elizabeth's first, I guess, rebuttal point was Saunders uh, is going to the increase in taxes and restriction of corporations leaving the United States will generate the income that Bernie's policies pretty much require to keep the economy in a good state. Um, increasing the taxes on corporations and keeping them locked in in a certain area isn't stimulating growth and stimulating the economy itself. You're like, I'm going to stick you in this hole and you can't go anywhere else. You can't. It's just not going to be beneficial for the corporations itself and kind of end, end up leading to a downfall if they don't have enough basis in the United States. And the second point was, sorry, excuse me. Third point was Saunders, Saunders will defend the United States and wants to have, uh, I guess, enforce diplomacy over military action in foreign affairs. But Saunders doesn't have much experience in the foreign policy. He, um, in one article on April 2015, there's an article, I was actually speech, I apologize. He um, stated that we should focus on domestic needs as opposed to national or abroad needs. And then not even a few months later in June, he, um, he states that we need to help these Syrian refugees and bring them here, which isn't really enforcing the fact that he wants to fix domestic policies. He wants to help foreign policies. And that's not as conflicting in that. And also, his main argument in the majority of the current debates for the presidential election or the candidacy are basically ISIS is bad and we should kind of focus on that. He doesn't seem to have any more depth of different ops or different ideas um, abroad or any options like that. And then Elizabeth's statement on Bernie doesn't want to open up the border. One of Bernie's main immigration policies that he's pushing for is opening the border for more guest workers to come in, as he calls them, and increasing the workflow in the United States, which is, in broader terms, opening the border for people to come in and work. And then that also, as she mentioned, has a path to become citizens. But the money for that, again, where is it all going to come from? And also, the job market's already flooded with um, skillful people. Why do we need more skillful people to come when we already can't give jobs to our people as of now? So. And then to end it, from Ron Beers uh, in an article from the Boston Globe on February 27th, given the inability of the GOP to stop Trump, the best way to prevent him from becoming president is to ensure Hillary Clinton is a Democratic nominee. In our view, if Sanders is a nominee, the Democrats will lose this election because he is not a plausible commander chief. And that goes back to the fact that he's a one dimensional person. He doesn't have much experience in foreign policy. I mean, he's been in Congress for 20 some odd years and he hasn't done much for the progressives. So why should the Democratic nominees, or why should he be the Democratic nominee when he hasn't done much for them? Thank you.